In Peter Dinklage, it's like, well, of course, cast him. He's Peter Dinklage. He's amazing. But in many ways, I assume, and not knowing this, but I'm sure he grew up seeing Hervé as this is my representation on TV. This is how I grew up watching. And seeing this and seeing like this is a big deal for him to step into this role, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's funny having done, you know, got to know Pete and become very close with Pete and done press with him uh, for the last couple of weeks. I think he would say, you know, that he wouldn't have had much uh, of a sort of idea of who Hervé was beyond what everyone else knew, really. And I think Pete sort of um, obviously had an awareness of him and, and also being, you know, of this relatively same stature height wise and stuff. But it wasn't as much as you'd think, you know, I don't right. think it was something that. Pete saw him as like a, an example of what little people could achieve or anything and right, like that. And he you studied know. theater and came up in his own and started his own theater exactly. company. A completely different sort of trajectory. Totally, totally, totally. And yeah, the, the comparisons are are going to be drawn and 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 understandably so. But I think Pete's always just seen himself as just this guy who's an actor who's trying to make it like every other actor, you know, and. Um, yeah, I mean, but, he's, he's great about that. P. He says, I think he wants, you, you know, all of us to feel like the, the fact that he's a dwarf, quote unquote, is the, the third or fourth thing about him. The first yes. thing right. is, you know, he's an actor. The second thing is, and he would say this, he's devilishly, devilishly charming and handsome. And the third that, you he's know, not he, funny. he's not funny. And the fourth <laughs> that he's, you know, a quote unquote dwarf. And that's what's so great. And I think that's where Hervé and Peter diverge, as you so clearly stated. Hervé was not an actor. Hervé was a right. painter who sort of fell into acting. Peter is a true actor, and so he's sort of a good actor is playing a not very good actor. You know, right? Their trajectories are very, very different. different. And I think Harvey's mm-hmm. life, in a way, served as a cautionary tale. It's like this is exactly not what the, exactly what not to do, mm-hmm. not to play into the stereotype, not to you know be defined by the physical limitations or your situation. 